just on our lunch break and then we just came over here. So oh, okay. Boxes. So it, people are invited to read a passage from Frederick Douglass's speech that he gave on the 4th of July. Yeah. This is the speech. It's a long speech and people have just been invited to go and read from it. And this is a part of a series of events leading up to the 4th of July. Do you guys know about Frederick Douglass? Not really. You don't know who Frederick Douglass is? Was he a president? Was he a president? Was he a president? I don't know, honestly. You don't know? I'm not, I'm not into that history stuff. You don't, so do you, you don't know who he is? I've heard of him a little. He is, uh, I believe he is a president. Some, some dude. I know he's famous. I don't really know much of him. He's famous? <laughs> you know, he did a lot for us. He's famous for something. <laughs> Community Change organizes these readings for several years of the Douglas speech. And uh, last year I was able to participate and I thought, wow, what a great thing this is. It would be great if we could do this everywhere. And then at a certain point I was involved in some Abraham Lincoln Bicentennial Commission uh, activities and it occurred to me that, that the Frederick Douglass speech on the 4th of July was a kind of perfect complement to, to the Lincoln uh, celebration. And, you know, I ran the idea by Paul and Marcus at Community Change and David at Mass Humanities, and it really grew from that. I am glad, fellow citizens, that your nation is so young. You are even the beginning of your national career. Still lingering in the period of childhood, I repeat, I am glad this is so. How old are you guys? I'm 20. 20? 21, you guys work with you, Bill? Yeah. Yes. I'm from New Bill Springfield. I'm from New Bedford. From New Bedford. And what's your name? James. James? Jennifer. Jennifer? Wait a minute. So I'm just kind of shocked that you guys don't know who Frederick Douglass is. Come on now. You guys got to know who Frederick Douglass is. Off the top of my head, I don't know. Off the top of your head? The idea really is very much to get as many people reading this speech, thinking about what Douglas was saying, the extent to which we've made progress and haven't made progress, but really starting a conversation. When I was first asked to do the Frederick Douglass reading talk, I was like, who is this guy? When I do the Frederick Douglass reading talk, I was like, who is this guy? When I do the Frederick Douglass reading talk, every year I learn more and more about him. And it's pretty sad knowing the bad experience he went through as a slave. This has always been one of my favorite speeches. I, mean, I remember reading it for the first time in college, and uh, it gave me chills then, it gives me chills every time to read it. So uh, I'm very grateful to, uh, to uh, the Mass Humanities folks for putting this event together and uh, giving the community an opportunity to come together and, and relive these words. What to the American slave is your 4th of July? My answer, a day that reveals to him more than all other days in the year the grow to which he is the constant victim. To him, your celebration is a sham, mm -hmm. your boasted liberty an unholy license, your national greatness swelling That's vanity, like right your sounds of rejoicing are empty and heartless. To a large extent, I think that what we should be uh, making sure is that this is uh, understood in the schools, that the public schools have a portion of their American history that covers this particular statement in this particular period, so that they better understand from whence they came. We're very lucky that the governor uh, did issue a proclamation uh, declaring the 14th Frederick Douglass Day, and uh, I just think it's a great event. You can see what happens when people get out here, and you can see the energy and the way uh, his words really impact our people, and I think that's the idea, and we're really hoping it'll happen a lot around the 4th of July. How does that impact you guys now, that knowing that information? No, he's a good person. Yeah, I'm <laughs> Thanks, glad Frederick. Slavery. <laughs> <laughs> so